Hey folks, here I am again with another video about Snapchat. I should tell you about my goal is like, I don't know if other parents are going through this, like, oh, what do I do if my kid asks me to go on Snapchat or uh, start an account? Um, my goal is that uh, these videos maybe will be useful for you. And if you have any questions or anything about the platform or the, the uh, app, hopefully they'll be answered in this video. So the today's video, this one you're watching right here, I am gonna go through all the terms of service and I'm gonna highlight the ones that I think are important that you should be aware of. So this right here is the terms of service for Canada. Uh, just to show you how long it is, I will scroll. You get the idea here. Um, there are exactly, if I scroll to the bottom, <clears throat> 13, 15, 18, 20, 24 points in this terms of service here. So I'm gonna hopefully sum up any of the important things I think educators and or parents should know. So the first thing I think you should know is point one about who can use the service. Snapchat is not intended for any users under the age of 13. So if a user is found to be under this age, their account and data will be deleted. Parents should be you know, aware of this age restriction and monitor their children's use on the plant platform. Now, when they sign up for an account like I did, it asks for your, your uh, month, day, year. You can lie. You can say you were born in 1901 and they don't actually verify your age. So um, if your son or daughter signs up and they choose to make themselves older than they are, they're not actually gonna be uh, called out on it, I believe. This was an interesting one though, the rights you grant us. Basically what Snapchat is saying is they retain any ownership of stuff that the kids will post on Snapchat. It's a license to use that content for various purposes. This means that uh, any content that they share on their platform can be used by Snapchat or other users. Um, you know, parents, we should be aware of this and understand that any content that's posted by your kids can be utilized by Snapchat and its uh, affiliates. This is another interesting point in the terms of service. Um, content moderation. Basically, what they're saying is most of the content on Snapchat is user generated. And while Snapchat reserves the right to review and moderate it, there's so many snaps happening that they cannot guarantee all the content complies with their guidelines. So parents, educators, you should be aware of the user generated uh, nature of the content and should educate young users on uh, responsible content sharing. Here's another point about respecting the services and Snap's rights. Basically, it's just saying that Snapchat owns and controls all the content, features, and the functionalities of the platform. So any users, they must adhere to the specific rules. And failure to do so can result in suspension or uh, termination of the Snapchat account. It's important for uh, parents and educators to understand that children know how to comply with Snapchat's rules. This is another good one. It's about respecting other people's rights. Um, basically it says like, users of Snapchat must not infringe on others' rights, including copyright and trademarks. So if someone believes that uh, their rights are violated, they can report it to Snapchat. So it's crucial that uh, parents and educators uh, know, convey to students to promote responsible use of the platform and respect other people's rights. For this point, it's an interesting one about safety. Uh, Snapchat's basically saying like, hey, we're gonna do our best to make sure that this app is safe for everyone, but you have to do your job too, right? Uh, a couple things they mention is like, they uh, say, hey, don't do anything silly to take a snap um, and risk getting hurt, or um, just be a kind person online and respect other people's uh, rights as well, right? And uh, if you don't follow these rules, Snapchat, can take action. You know, they might remove your content, limit who can see your account, all that kind of stuff. They might even tell law enforcement if it's serious enough. This is to protect uh, users and make sure everyone kind of plays by the rules. There's always disclaimers with these things, right? Basically this one's saying Snapchat, hey, we're gonna try our best to keep the app safe, but there's no promise. So um, they're not gonna be responsible for things that other people post on Snapchat. That might be rude, illegal or wrong. 
I just found these last two kind of interesting. Point 20, exclusive venue basically says, hey, if there's a problem that's big enough that um, has to go to court, it'll happen in England's courts. So you might have to fly over to England to, to settle some stuff. And choice of law right there is basically saying that the rules for Snapchat are based on the laws of England and Wales. So I guess to kind of sum up the last five minutes of this video, the, the key ideas for parents and educators would be there's an age restriction. They're saying your kid, if they're under 13, they shouldn't have Snapchat. Next one, um, it's user content. It's user content stuff. So um, they're going to try and keep it safe, but there's no guarantee. They don't look at every single snap or everything put out there. So your kids could get exposed to some stuff that you don't want them seeing. They're going to do their best. Um, and they're going to hold people accountable if they do catch them putting stuff on. So if your kid uh, puts some stuff out there that's not kind, uh, violates people's rights, there's a chance that there could be some action taken against them. Something as simple as getting their account suspended to like court action. Um, so just be aware. I personally don't think any kids uh, under 13 need this app for anything. There's so many other uh, things available on the on the web. This one, stay away from till you absolutely have to. Take care. Bye-bye.